previously on Journey. I was uh, looking for my dad who went out to get some milk and he hasn't returned for over 60 years and it's actually quite sad. Um, so we're going on a journey to look for him. Welcome back to my Journey playthrough. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Um, I kind of am figuring out the storyline as we go, but we've make it, made up a story so far um, that this guy um, and his brother, who is named Hung, is looking for his dad who went out to get milk. Um, and so here we are, back in this beautiful uh, world. There's a lot of tickets in this thing. Um, in that previous uh, episode, we were escaping a whole bunch of flying serpents uh, with my brother. Um, oh, there's a thing up there. And uh, he, I don't, I'm not sure if he made it. I didn't see him anymore, and I'm not sure if that was a real world player that um, just kind of dropped out of the game or disappeared. But he's actually uh, missing from the game now, uh, and didn't make it through to this part of the the level, which is quite sad. If if my brother died. That's brutal, man. All right, so I, I can't jump, but those uh, those flashing things up there give, make my my scarf longer, for lack of a better word. <laughs> uh, we tend to, um, well, I've been referring to them as wangs. We've got another story here. Okay, so that's... Is that me up on the hill? Whoa. Ah, filled with water. And that's released all the tickets, thankfully. Can I go up, though? Yeah. Ah, beautiful. So that... These, tic these things here make my wang bigger. What's that down there? Ah! It's my brother and his dick is huge! Holy cow! So he disappeared for a while and now his coat is turning white like my father's and his dick is massive. His scarf, sorry. And I've just got this tiny little pecker. Man! I've got severe penis envy right now. My brother's clearly much better at finding ways to um, find those glowing orbs. And I also don't seem to have any problems being underwater. Um, which is weird. I don't need to um, worry about breathing or anything like that. Uh, so... Damn it. So what do you guys think of this game so far? If you haven't played it before, um, what's your vibe of the game? Ugh. Do you like games like this? Do they annoy you? Um, I really like arty games like this. I don't know why. I just kind of enjoy them. Okay. So that jump didn't really work last time, but I don't think I'll be able to jump up there. Yeah, that's not high enough. There we go. I'm just going to have a look into these things here and see if there's anything for me. Nothing. Just a weird little spawn point. Not really. So, uh, I don't know if that guy that I saw earlier hung, I've been referring to him, if it's the same person. Could be someone completely different. Um, and not my brother, but... Uh, no, for the purposes of storytelling, we'll go with it being my my brother. 
No, no, no. There we are. Now, I feel like there's something... What I might do is I'll just go into the middle here and just explore and... See what's there. Oh, the camera really didn't want me to go in this area. Now, is that... See how underneath those um, platforms there's a looks like a light? Is that stuff that makes my wang grow? Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, sadness. Let's have a look anyway. Uh, it looks like it's locked anyway. Yeah, it's just a light. Okay. Well, all right, we'll try and make our way back up again. Sometimes I feel like these games kind of have replaced the old platformers of the day. Do you, like, you know what I mean? This is really a, a, a platformer. And I don't really see them around very much. Maybe because I'm a little bit older, I don't really look out for them. Um, but I wonder if that's because they don't... They're much more involved now, platformers. And I feel like this is, in a way the old style of platform not not like a 2d side scrolling one but um kind of like your your your, your later versions of mario and things like that i guess there's mario what was that mario galaxy that was a cool game um whereas this kind of uh, has those vibes, doesn't it? Oh, did he go away after? Oh, no. There's the little... What do we call that one? Spot. The magic carpet. Come on, come on, come on. No, 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 no. The worst part of platformers is sometimes the camera. More than anything else, the, the cameras just kill you. All right, cool. Sorry if my controller is a bit noisy on the mic here. I, I with <laughs> with platformers, you tend to kind of just move the controller around like your it actually impacts on what's going on. Now, did I miss anything before we get started? There was some going over to that side, but it, that looks okay. Oh, that's cool. Maybe we should go and get that if we can. Can I make it? Oh, perfect. Drift. Nice. So this makes my um, scarf bigger. And we know how important that is to me in this game. Getting a bigger scarf. Did it then? Did it make it bigger? There's the residues of it all.
these um floating uh, little scarves and curtains or whatever you want to call them uh, look like jellyfish in this sort of water world but is that water down there even or is it like a smoke it's really hard to tell um, but let's continue this story or, or lighting up the pillar in the middle so what is that that's me look at him running around oh look at that well I want to just read these things out. so that's is that telling me what to do Oh, this is beautiful. Beautiful game. If you don't think this is a beautiful game, what do you think is beautiful? I would love to know. Because uh, I think that's a harsh criticism. Oh, I'm going to get the the wang sheet. Go down. For once, I want him to go down. All right, here we are. Let's have a look at my scarf. Does it make it longer? It's, yes, it does. So that guy that had that huge scarf that disappeared earlier on in this level must have had a huge, huge success gaining um, wang abilities, I'm going to call it. Come on. Let's get it on here. Sorry for the crass nature of this game, but uh, I didn't make it. You know, these guys... They're the ones that have the dirty minds, the developers of this game, and they like to put innuendo all throughout it. It's, it's not my... I'm not in control of that. That's up to them, you know? There's nothing I can do about it. This thing is sinking now. I feel like I've got to sing to him to make him get higher, perhaps. Here we go. Great. Beautiful. Imagine this is how you had to get home from work every day. You're like, oh, why do I make it so hard to get home? This is ridiculous. Normal people just have a key to their front door, but I've got giant uh, serpents, scarf serpents everywhere. All right, let's get on this thing. What I would love to know if by now, have you guys, what is, I know I've been saying stupid things about the fact that his dad went to get some milk ages ago and he's uh, retracing his father's steps to kind of find out where he went. Um, but based on what we've seen so far, what do you think the storyline is for this game? I feel like it's some sort of father-son or... Um, you know, master... Oh, there's another person. Master-apprentice relationship. But, um... Yeah, do you have any other theories at this point in the game? Even if you've played it, what was your theory at this point? Um, were you as stupid as me when it came to this game? Or, or did you... Were you kind of spot on? Am I way off? I feel like I'm way off. Oh, we've got to learn with my friend. So that, I don't know who that big Wang guy was earlier. This guy looks a bit more like my brother, perhaps not as advanced as my brother was. But this could be another person in the game that's playing it right now. I'm, I'm not too sure how that works. That's clearly a UFO. And we're about to learn, I guess, some more story about my, my dad. Very strange game. Oh, there he is. So it's, my brother's disappeared. There's my dad. He drank way too much milk. And here he is telling me a story. Son, be careful. All right, so that's me, I assume, in the journey that I've taken. That is a very cute hieroglyphic, by the way. Uh, so then there's two of us. Oh, this is the whole journey that we've we've taken, I guess. 
We went across the bridges, the two of us. Me and my brother hung. Uh, did that. That was where we were sliding down through. In the underwater world where the snakes were, or the flying serpents. The tower that we were just in now. All these little levels. Um, winds, I think we have to go to next. We have to face wind and then the mountain. And then we're finished. So we might finish this soon. It's actually, it is quite a short game. Um, I think some people have speed run this in like 35 minutes. If you, I think on howlongtobeat.com, some people have done this in like 35 minutes or so, which is insane. That would have been a real enjoyable experience. <laughs> really going in depth into the storyline and the, um, the symbolism of the game. The milk symbolism. Okay, so we're almost there, I think. So I finally opened the front door to my house. It's a lot of work just to get home. I feel like if this is my brother, I don't think it is, because we've had uh, we've saved the game in between then and now. I feel like I my my scarf, if you know what I mean, is bigger than my brother's for once, than my brother hung. I think I finally outgrown him. <laughs> it's like strange encounters, I think. If... Oh, snow. I wasn't expecting this. Okay, so there's some more um, spots up the top there, and there's the mountain, and we're at the bottom here. So it looks like the scarves have been frozen. Uh, and they're not really working anymore? Is that what you would gather from this? Ooh, this Anna. Oh no. Are they brighter? Oh no, they're... Oh no. So the bad guys are here too. So we should be careful as we climb the mountain. I feel like he moves much slower in the snow as well. Um, and he's already his his scarf is, or his robe is covered in. Oh, this is that windy world that the uh, hieroglyphics showed us. Look at him; he's covered. Okay, so you got to kind of wait and get behind cover. Come on, Hung. <laughs> We're like two little brothers were trying to outdo each other. I like how this game hasn't had much combat in it. Um, and that's a refreshing thing, I think, with, in video gaming. A lot of them always have to involve some sort of fighting or something like that. Um, where is he? Oh, he's stuck all the way back there, getting blown away. Hung! No! Um, but it's really cool that this one hasn't really needed much combat at all. It's mainly just escaping and things like that. It's really cool.
because sometimes I think games uh, too often rely on on. Oh look, he's sick and tired. Now I'm gonna make him work for me. Um, yeah, they too often rely on, uh, you know, people fighting or things like that. Uh, is that serpent coming back? Oh, there's a moon. And that's where we're going there. There's the bad guy. And he has the ability to, uh, to attack my wang and take it from me. Which isn't cool. Ah, I really feel the difficulty of walking up this um, up this mountain with the controllers. It's hard to explain, but it really feels sluggish, uh, which is very cool. Look at him. Can we get the camera right into it? Ah, with his little little toes, his little. Pin feet. Man, it, like I actually feel tired kind of pushing him up this hill. Hilarious. Let's take a break in here. Okay, so light is good. And that's gotten the snow off my my clothes. My brother's caught up to me. Ah, so that I guess that snow um, coming onto my robe um, is what was slowing me down, as well as the wind and and walking up the mountain. Uh, but that's very cool. Can we wake that up? No. That scarf is struggling. That Persian rug. What do you guys think it is? Scarf, Persian rug. Ooh. Tickets. Tickets isn't cool. Maybe for the small one. Persian rug I think is good. We're wearing scarves and those things are Persian rugs. Flying carpets. What's your nickname for these things? Oh, the snow's really piling up now. Oh, we're both struggling. Hung, maybe if we stuck together, we could warm each other up, no? The monster's coming from somewhere. There it is. Oh. Ah, oh, here we go. Ah. Oh. I just totally ruined my brother's hiding spot there. Where is my brother? Oh man. He, is he dead? Uh, that's pretty crap. He found the awesome hiding spot and then I just let him die. That thing over there is frozen. I might try and help him quickly if I can. I'm really out in the open here. This is not a good spot to be in. Oh, man, this is hard. This is tense. 
I'm not sure if you're feeling it watching it, but man. Those things are scary. And it's not, they don't even really do anything to you. They just kind of ruin your dick. <laughs> to be honest. Alright, quick. Get into the cave and avoid that thing. My poor brother. I don't know. Oh, he's coming. Did he survive? He survived. <laughs> Thank God. Alright. Cool, so we get a little story in here. Okay, through the windy mountains. That's not illuminating though. It's too cold maybe? Hmm. My brother doesn't even care. He's really pissed with me. You ruined my hiding spot. And I did. What do you reckon we should do? I, I'm really sorry that I ruined your hiding spot. Oh, and he just killed himself. Hung, no! Oh, uh, he's alright. So maybe if, if our scarf gets to zero, if we get to Kendall status, then maybe that's the end of the game and you have to start again or start at the save point. So I really don't want to be caught out in the open. Um, reminds me of that Shadow of the Colossus level uh, where, I think, was it a horse? It might have been a horse where you could kind of hide underground. And the, the dogs are hi uh, crashing to the ground, I think, as that monster destroys them. He's kind of just eating all these ones up here. Was that him over there on the right? There he is. Get back into hiding. Oh, my brother. He's in so much trouble. Oh, man. And he didn't have much of... He was almost at Kendall status. Let's go. My poor brother. So I'm not sure how far back that... If you do lose your scarf, that might be the end. You have to kind of... Oh, no. He's nearby. Quick, 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 quick. Quick. Oh, man. He's getting obliterated. I thought I was bad at this game. That guy's getting smashed. All right, quick. I'm going to go up here first. I don't want to risk it. Don't want to get too greedy. He's still down there. He's still alive. It's so white at the moment. Hard to see. Oh, there it is. Cool. Alright. I reckon it's, I'm free to go. Oh, my brother's still going to beat me to it. So he... He pretty much has no... Um, Wang left. He is at Kendall status. It looks like. Man, this game is beautiful. Look at that. Great camera work. Great video game camera work there. This is really, uh, I haven't felt this way in a game for a long time. I'm actually feeling quite tired.
um, just playing the game, trying to walk up this mountain. So it looks like a dead end. Yeah, I agree. Perfect. Cool. All right. I have no more energy. This guy is just, he can't even jump up the stairs anymore. What an experience this game is. The music is beautiful and it's just such a gorgeous game to play. Uh, not fully connected with the story, I have to admit. Um, but I, I, it's, it's, I guess it's meant to be that way. We're not really meant to know what's going on. I guess we're, we're following this, this trail set by the man in white. Oh. Close the window, man. This is very much like that uh, the Tomb Raider reboot game um, when you were in that mountainous area and the winds were kind of blowing her away, blowing old Tomb Raider away. Oh man. Huh? I thought that was... Uh, Okay, so I was the one hiding behind the rock. I thought I was the other guy for, for a second there. Got to get into this little groove. Yeah, cool. Let's do quick on this next one. Because there's nothing to stop me blowing off into the abyss there. There hasn't been any, like, deaths in this game. You know, like, yeah, yeah, I haven't really... Have I died? I've been hit by those dragons, but I haven't really gone back to, you know, a, a death area, a death screen. So it looks like the wind now is just blowing my tickets away as well, like my scarf... And I'm at complete Kendall status right now. Man. Sorry, I'm just, I'm experiencing this for the first time as if you guys are as well. So I have no idea what's going on. Um, I'm just trying to make it to the top of this mountain. Why? I don't know. Because it was there. My brother's over the other side. We, whoever this player is, I, I, I'm as much to blame, I guess. We, we're not really working together. We're not helping each other out. Maybe I'll go over to him and see if we can work together as a team. I think my brother is really upset here that um, I ruined his hiding spot. I can't sing very well either. Like, that barely comes out. We're very tired. What is that? See that black smoke up there? Oh man, why this is really hard. It feels really hard on the controller. I'm just pushing forward. That's all I'm actually doing in the real world, but I actually feel tired, like these guys that are crusted over with ice and snow, and it's rocking them, they're, they're solid. Oh. Oh. 
The audio's gone quiet. There's no music anymore. I can barely hear the wind. Does that mean I'm dying? Oh, man. Was I meant to hide somewhere? I wonder if, like, when we finally get to the top, it's just, like, a convenience store and the guy had the munchies hard and all he wants is, like, you know, some, some Doritos or something. This is ridiculous. Oh, come on. Oh, no. Did he die? No, no, no. No, what happened? What happened? Do you think we died? Is that the end? Did we die? No, no, no. What's what's happening? It's just a white screen. Hello. Oh, here we go. Deathly silence. All you've got is my horrible voice to listen to. Why we uh see the corpse of my weird robed guy, and it looks like not only did his dad go to the corner store to get some milk, his uncle did. His his other uncle, the one that they don't like very much, his grandfather, his mum even went. She's there, and his nana. They all went to the corner store to get some milk. They all died. They really need to move to a location where there's a better corner store. And finally, he's achieved massive erection status. Well done, Stun. You have achieved an erection. Sorry. <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying. What is going on in this storyline? Like, clearly what I'm saying is inaccurate. Whoa. That erection has launched him into the stratosphere. Past all the dragon. Can I... I am in control. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I better kind of avoid these things. Clearly going to heaven because I died on that mountain. What is this storyline? Okay. Oh, very cool. My brother made it. We both have massive erections and we can just fly now at will. I don't think I even need to touch the ground. Or maybe I do. Yes, I do. Ooh. Okay, cool. So I do need to stop at each of these things to pick up some tickets. Where's my brother gone? Is he ahead of me? Oh man, this game is beautiful. Love the artwork. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yes. Snowboard level. Jump over. Okay, it feels like we're getting towards the end of the game. Um, I've started playing... Uh, the Last of Us as a playthrough for you guys, um, and I'm going to do Die Hard Trilogy as well. Um, but are there any other games that you would like for me to play? Shout them out. Would love for you to know to uh, to tell me so I could play um, play any ones that you like. And Silent Hill has been requested quite a lot because I have talked about that a fair bit. Um, so I'd love to play that for you. Um, but if there's anything else, please let me know. Um, and if you want to see more of this sort of stuff, if you want to see horrible... Oh, hang on, I don't have enough power here. Okay, so we're underwater all of a sudden. Um, if you want to see horrible con uh, commentaries where scarves are equated to wangs, then feel free. Subscribe, um, and you'll get more wang chat. Beautiful, beautiful wang chat. It's very appropriate 
very of the time. It's beautiful. But I do apologize. So I can't think of anything else that this story is about, to be honest. Unless he's just a real cool fashionista. Ah, uh, got no power. Come on, jump. I feel like I'm not meant to have taken that shortcut. Where's my brother gone? He's disappeared. I wish it was this easy to actually climb mountains. Imagine like some people that have climbed up Everest. Yeah, that's pretty much what it's like. Yeah, it was, it was it was roughly that easy. I've got full white status now. It looks like. Is this game a metaphor for going to heaven? Do you reckon? Do you reckon I was dead in the beginning and this is going through the, the stages of heaven and hell, sort of similar to Dante's uh, Inferno and, and the Divine Comedy? I wonder. I'm gonna say, I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna say this, I reckon this is a, a fact that I'm happy to put out there. This is the most beautiful game I've ever played. I, I'm gonna say. with with certainty it is gorgeous beautiful design if you have any that challenge it i'd love to know and i will play it um uh, if you think there's a game out there that's better than this in terms of visual appeal i'm not talking just about graphics and and awesome graphics i'm just talking about just beautiful images coming at you at a million miles an hour because that's what's happening here uh, i can't fly i can sing that's about it. I don't know where my brother is. I can't even turn the camera around now. So I wonder if this is a metaphor for dying and those white people are angels or something like that. Um, and if it is, if it is a metaphor for dying and going to heaven, I have completely sullied this story with my Wang chat, uh, references of Ken dolls, um, and my brother whose name is Hung because of his scarf size and that is incredibly embarrassing and I talk about this right now even though I'm experiencing quite a beautiful moment of this game I'm still talking about it and it's quite embarrassing and I apologize to everyone out there that's had to listen to these episodes What the fuck was that game about? <laughs> I have no idea what that game was about, but I enjoyed it. And I'm going to stick with my storyline. I think he finally made it to the corner store, where, as you can see, it's just covered in milk, and he's been able to pick up the milk that his family requested. All they wanted was a cup of coffee. The dad disappeared ages ago, and so I finally achieved convenience store status. I don't know if I'm still walking. It's just turned white. Um, you can kind of hear my controls moving. There's nothing going on. Oh. More to the game. It continues. Okay, there's the mountain that I made it to. That's me. Ah, oh, so like, remember in the beginning of the game, we saw things flying off into the stratosphere? So, perhaps this is a metaphor for going through purgatory, uh, purgatory and then getting into heaven? Maybe? Thank you for playing Journey, that's it. What is your theory on this game? Please share it below, please discuss. I would love to chat about this game with you guys. Um, 
and thank you to that game company for making such a beautiful game but yeah please comment below and let me know what you think this game is about because uh, I would love to know uh, I can't I'm not controlling anything here this is just going through all the different areas of the game I went to do you here's, here's thing are you going to vote for A? It was a guy retracing his father's steps who went to the corner store ages ago to get some milk for the family and never returned. And I finally made it to that corner store and got the milk. Or B, the person had died in the beginning of the game and this is their journey through purgatory and hell and heaven or whatever to get to heaven, to, a, to get to the next life. Or, or C, what is your other theory? I'm going to vote with A. I definitely think uh, it was very much about weighing size and getting milk from a corner store um but yeah I'd, I'd love to hear your theories i'd love to chat with you guys so please comment below and let me know uh and what did you think of the game if you've played it before if you watched me playing it just now what do you think of this game um did you think it was beautiful uh please share below i really liked it i thought it was a beautiful game and i think it was, it was the right length as well um so this company I'm not sure if it's this company, but they've they've got a whole bunch of other games. You can even buy it in a pack. Um, so you can buy Journey, and there's two other games that it comes with that they've made, which will also look of the same visual appeal. Um, so yeah, so uh, maybe I'll have to check those out as well and, and see if they're just as good. But this is everything I thought it was hyped up to be. I strongly recommend you guys playing it. Uh, I'm not sure if you play it, how different it will be from the journey you just took with me. Probably... I'm not going to say this. I'm going to say this quickly. I think it would be a much better experience without me talking all over it and ruining it for you. Um, so thank you very much for watching. Uh, please subscribe if you want to see some more gaming stuff from me. Um, and uh, have a great day. See you later. Bye. Okay, so we're back at the end of the game, and it's saying that I did meet some people along the way. I've earned a trophy there as well, Rebirth. So these, are, if you're, any, if you know any of these people, shout out uh, to them, because uh, I recorded with them and we played together. So this is Hung. All of these people represent Hung here in my story. Um, so if any of you know these people or you've played with them, I'm playing on PlayStation. I think this is maybe only a PlayStation game. I'm not sure. Um, <laughs> shout out to them and let them know that they featured in this video with an idiot who talks about penises the whole time because he's a fool um, so thank you so much for watching guys <laughs> that's ridiculous alright Wang